Sometimes the world no longer needs a hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. I feel very honored. And also what's exciting about this portrayal of him is that you don't just meet Vlad the Impaler, but you see Vlad's transformation into one of the most famous literary Dracula vampire characters ever written about. I have been waiting an eternity for a man of your strength. But what kind of man crawls into his own grave in such a hope? A desperate one. What was brilliant about this was that it was about the human, about the man behind the, the vampire, and about his struggles and his life and his his journey through life and what decisions he makes in his life to protect his family and his wife and child and people and kingdom. Drink. What's happening to you? I chose this. It's a tragic story. It's a man who tries to do the right thing and, and, and chooses certain, makes certain decisions that uh, lead him down a path which he's unable to come back from. You did this for us. In two days, I'll be restored. He also does it for a very good reason and saves his people, but you end with a very lonely individual, you know, who's somebody who um, he can't go back. He's, he, he can only go forward, but not in, a, not in the way he was, but in a very different form. <laughs> trained for about two months before we started the film. I was there seven weeks before everybody else in Belfast, in Northern Ireland, and I trained every day. We just learned, started learning this, the, the, the choreography and they were very, very technical stuff, really technical. And the diet was incredibly clean and, and uh, boring and there was no alcohol or chocolate or uh, sweets and um, that went on for four and a half months. Yes, I did do um, probably 95% of what you see on the screen is me. You are alive because of what I did to save you! The world never forgets.